Welcome back to another video on my channel. This is Legion and in today's video I'm going to show you how to do animations in Unity. In the Unity editor you can see I have a simple scene in which I have a character and a couple of platforms. If you want to know how to make a scene like this one, I have already made a previous video on this topic. I will leave the link at the top right of the screen. So starting off with our video, I would go to this medieval king pack. I will leave the description in the video description down below. Sorry, I will leave the link in the description down below. And it's a very cool pack. You can get it for free on the S store. So going over the sprites, you can see we have many sprites. Basically what you have to do is click on the king, open up the animation window, right? You can find it under window and animation and then click create. I didn't click. Clicking on create, it will open where you want to save this animation. So I have made a folder in the assets folder called animation and I will call it king idle one click on save and then it will create the animation now i'm just waiting and then you will go to the animation you want to display now here i have this idle animation i will click on the first sprite click shift to select all of them and click on this one i missed one so control and i'll click on it and then you will drag and drop all of these sprites now I will just adjust this a little on the timeline, let's say 130 and then you can test this by clicking the play the animation clip. You can see already on the game here that the king is actually playing the idle animation and then I will click on the play again. So this is how to make an animation in a nutshell. Now you have other things to take into consideration like playing let's say an attack animation or a jump animation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do this one. Now clicking again on this drop down menu on the King Idol I will select create new clip and do the same but with let's say jump. So King jump. Now it will create it and I will go to the jump section here select those and drag and drop it now this in this bag actually jumping is separated into two parts the jump and the full animation so clicking again dragging and okay so it took all of them that's okay that's great that's even better now i'll just delete both of those with and then I will select all of those animations and I will spread them. So let's say uh, 20. Now I will introduce you to the animator window right here. And this shows us the animations or the animators. And you can see there is the entry. So this King Idol animation will play on playing the game the king idol will play because it set the transition from the entry now we have the king jump so from any state i will select make transition into the king jump and then from king jump i will make a transition into king idol now clicking on this arrow you can see there's a couple of options here but in matter of fact we need to first thing do is i'm going to make the transition duration equal to zero and I'm going to make a parameter and make it uh, a trigger. Now this trigger will be called jump. So make sure that you know in upper cases, lower case in that name. You need to know the name exactly. Now I have already made a script called player which deals with movement and jumping. If you want to check that video out, I will leave the link at the top right of the screen. 
opening that script in Visual Studio, I'll make a reference to the animator by writing animator and calling it animator, right? And then in the void start, I will define this variable by saying animator equal get component animator. So this will actually capture the animator of the game object this script is attached to. Now I'll go to the jump section and here on the input, let's see input to get key down. I'll say animator dot set trigger and I'll pass the name of the trigger that I have made, which is called jump animator dot set trigger jump. Now this after saving, so this will basically tell the animator to check that trigger of jumping anytime I press the space bar. Going to Unity once more. Back in Unity and going over the animator tab, you can see that I have an arrow from the any state to the king jump, and here I will add a condition which is jump. Now going to the arrow from the king jump to the king idol, I will check that has exit time and put the exit time at one. Now going to the game and running, we we'll just wait it, wait for it to run. And here I can click and the animation is working fine and great. Now I will actually move, make another animation which is the moving animation or the run animation if you want to call it. So I'm going to do the same once more. Click on the king, go over the drop down menu and create new clip. And now go into the animations and I will write its name. So king run. Click on save and go to the sprites where I have the run animation. Select the first one go to the last click on shift and select that dragging and dropping everything and making this a little bit wider now i will check the animation and it's kind of slow so i will make it let's say 30 and now it's much better so i will just click on the run once more bring it back go to the animator add another parameter now this will be pool so pool just um, it, it's just a true or false value not not like a trigger so I'm gonna create that go to the script once more and under the input to input to get access horizontal now I will write uh, animator dot set pool where is pool and here you will write the name of the pool like the trigger and you will add the value which is true in this case I will drag uh, I will copy this and put it here and then I will I need to make the animator revert back to false whenever I am not actually holding any button. So what I'm going to do is I'll write if input dot get axis sorry so dot get axis horizontal now equal equal zero. So there is no input on the horizontal axis. Now I'll write animator no actually I will just paste that and make this false now saving this this should actually work so I'm gonna go to the unity engine once more and I'm going to click on the run button just waiting for it okay now oh sorry I just forgot to actually add the parameter and we have the king run here so taking from the king idol I will make a transition to the king run and once more to the king idol clicking on the transmission from the king idol to the king run you can see that we have exit time no and the duration no 
and we will add the run true so when this is true I will basically play the run animation and here it will revert back to the idle animation when the run is false so running the game once more and waiting for it and it's working fine it just need a little bit of tweaking right I think it has a a duration a, a, a tra yep transition duration that's what I thought so now I just forgot to make that equal to zero and you can see it's trans transitioning immediately to between them now you can also run and jump and this brings us to the end of our video if you if you found this video informative then please hit that like and subscribe button for more videos like this and if you want to ask for a video in particular you can ask me in the comment section down below peace out